So here I'm going to start looking at game theory, and this is going to be more of economic game theory as opposed to combinatorial game theory. Both are referred to as game theory, but definitely have a different flavor to them. So no math in this one, just a little motivation and just a little, a little history, brief little discussion. So the idea of game theory, what we want to do is it's to help people in a conflict situation determine the best course of action out of several possible choices. And it's been applied to decision-making problems in economics, business, psychology, sociology, warfare, and political science. So a, a wide variety of, of conflict situations. So I wouldn't say that it's in its infancy anymore, but game theory certainly has tons of room for growth. So I think it's uh, interesting stuff. Again, I'm kind of learning about more about it myself. So being a complex subject, we're only going to examine the simplest kind of games, and those are going to be games involving only two players. Obviously, you could have more than two players, and certainly uh, those types of problems get addressed, but we're going to restrict ourselves to only two players. And also, a payoff of some amount after each play will occur, and it happens in a way so that one player's win is the, other's, the other player's loss. And, you know, no fees or anything like that will go to a third party, such as a gambling house, you know, maybe if you're playing poker or roulette. You know, there's, there's, there's no rake, for example, if you've played poker before. And these are known as two-person zero-sum games. So the two-person, well, we've got two people. Zero-sum means uh, there's sort of a, uh, the net change is zero. You know, if one person wins a dollar, the other person loses a dollar. So there's sort of uh, nothing, nothing, in, no, no new amount of money, for example, introduced to the game, if you want to think about it that way. So we're going to seek optimal strategies for each person is the goal here. So what's the best course of action? And just a little history here real quick. Uh, for those interested, the big advance in game theory occurred in 1944 when the super-duper high-powered mathematician John von Neumann and uh, Oscar Morgenstern, both were at Princeton, published their book, Games and Economic Behavior. So I think, uh, if I remember correctly, game theory probably got started around the 1920s. People started looking at it, but it was uh, these two people that really sort of uh, developed it into something more. In 1994, John Nash, John Harsanyi, and Richard Selton were all awarded the Nobel Prize in Economics for their work in game theory. And for some of you, John Nash especially may be, uh, may be a recognized name. There was a, a very good book and also a good movie. Uh, I think it was made, I don't know, in the 2000s, early 2000s, uh, maybe even the late uh, uh, 1990s, I can't remember, but uh, a book called, a book and a movie called A Beautiful Mind that was about John Nash. So if you're interested, I would say definitely pick up the book or, uh, you know, watch the movie. I think it's, uh, there's some interesting stuff. So, all right, that's going to be our start. So in the first video, I'm going to look at what are called strictly uh, determined games. And I think these are probably going to be uh, maybe not necessarily the most interesting just because uh, sort of there's a cut and dry strategy. But we'll start there first, and then after that we'll start talking about games that are not strictly determined.